Okay, election day may be over, but not all the results are set in stone. For example, Florida may be looking at three separate recounts, including its Senate and governor races, due to how close they are. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz digs into the numbers around here and asks what outcomes would change if races left blank were filled in. Here's some numbers to start you off. North Dakota saw nearly 330,000 voters in this year's election. It's been a, a great election. I think we had record turnouts. That's more than half the state's eligible voters. But some voters left some of the races blank, leaving some what-if questions. For example, North Dakota's Secretary of State race. Al Jagger won by 47%, leaving no room for a recount. If it's between that one half of 1%, and 2% they can demand a recount. But not everyone who voted chose any candidate. We can see here out of all the 329,000 plus votes cast, less than 306,000 actually filled in a circle for Secretary of State. So let's say those 23,000 plus blank votes filled in Josh Boucher's circle. The difference between Jager's and Boucher's votes would have been less than 1,500. Jager still would have won, but it would have been much closer. And when the votes are close enough for a recount, auditors would then look at the over and under votes. So what are these? Let's say there's two candidates. An over vote is when someone fills in both circles. An under vote is when someone leaves both blank. So why would we need to recount these? Cass County Election Coordinator Deanne Buckhouse says in the primaries, there was one instance where a machine accidentally counted an overvote. They voted for one candidate and then they crossed it off and voted for another candidate. Well, the machine can't distinguish that, so it saw that there was more than one vote for that race. Meaning, in a race too close for comfort, those over-under votes could actually matter. In Fargo, Rose Iskowitz, Valley News Live. And according to the auditor, one district within this county may warrant a recount. That's the race for state senator in District 25. Out of more than 6,000 votes, the two candidates are only 24 votes apart.